Hey guys, welcome to Safi Max for another video on building your skills in Mathematica. In this video, I'll talk about two other very important functions on the elements of list, thereby constructing list of list or nested list and how to extract the elements of sub list within a nested list. So let's begin with. So the first thing I would like to know about is the function range. Let's ask Mathematica what the function range does for. So if I run that, we see we can use the range function through three different ways. The first way gave us a list. We start from one and going to the i maximum value which is written in the argument of the range function. And the second function is stored from a minimum value and going to a maximum value. So I will use these two forms of the range function. In order to understand the meaning of the first one, let me run this into this form. So you see, it gave me a list we're starting from one and running on to the maximum value five where five is in fact the argument of the range similarly if i run the second form of the function then you see it starts from three which is the minimum integer in the argument or the first integer in the argument of the function and runs over to seven where seven is the maximum function. Now I want to combine these two forms of the range function to produce a nested list or list of lists with equal numbers of elements. Now that I can do by writing them into this form. You see here I have used three different special symbols. The hash symbol, the ampersand, the slash, in the add the right symbol. Now let us understand the meaning of these symbols and how they are implemented in a program by Mathematica. The number sign that is the H stands for a slot to which anything can be put as per a specifically defined rule. The ampersand sign tells Mathematica that what comes before to it is in fact a pure function. I'll say more about functions somewhere else in another video, but a pure function, a function with undefined variable, for example, in this case, the undefined variable is the hash inside the first function. The backslash followed by the, by the, at the red symbol is a symbolic representation for mapping a function to another list or function or whatever it may be. So this whole line in fact dictates that to every element inside the function range with argument 5, the function range with argument 5 hash going to 5 hash plus 4 should be applied one by one. In other words, the single line execute this first function for each element of the second function and store the result in a sub list. So according to the definition range 5, the first element is 1. So if I replace the first element at the place of hash, this will give me 5 times 1 is 5, and then 5 times 1 is 5, added to 4 is 9. So for the first element of the second function, the first function will give me a sub list starting from 5 and moving on to 9. So if I run this function, you will see in the first sublist, I have 5 at the first place, which moving on to 9. Similarly, according to definition, the second element in the second function over here is 2. If I replace the 2 over here, then 5 times 2 is 10, and 10 plus 4 is 14. That means I should have a sublist starting from 10, moving on to 14, and exactly that's what I have over here, it's starting from 10 moving to 14. For the third element, which is 3, what I would have 
if I multiply 3 with 5, I get 15 over here and at this position I get 15 plus 4 is 19. So I should have a sub list starting from 15 moving on to 19 and that is exactly what I have at this position. The same is true for the other two elements. So if you look at the result, we have a nested list or in other words, a list of sub lists where each sub list contains five elements. So here I'm assigning the resultant of this line to what I call mat because this, this in fact is a matrix. In order to see this, let me run this in the matrix form. Now you see I have a matrix of order five by five. So this is a square matrix. Now the question is how can I extract the elements of the sublist? Now if you look over here, every sublist in fact make a row of this matrix. So the next thing is how to extract the elements of this matrix. That I can do by this command. This is called extract command where double square, square brackets are used. So if I run this, it gives me the first row. Similarly, if I want to extract an element from the first row, then I add another argument into the extract command. And I, if I run this, I get six, which is the second element inside this list. Similarly, changing the number at the second position will give me, if I replace this with 3, I'll get the element 7, 4, I'll get the element 8, 5, I'll get the element 9. Do that for yourself, just try. Now, the next thing is how can I extract a column of a matrix? So that I can do by this command where the semicolon twice used is used for all command and then followed by a comma and the one over here to ask Mathematica to extract the first column. If you look at these elements, they are exactly the elements of the first column 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25. So 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25. The next thing is how can I extract the elements of a column that I do by applying the extract command twice. It cannot be done the way we do here for the uh, for extracting the elements of a row. If I run this one, I'll get element two, which is the element, which is the second element inside this column ten. If I change this number, I'll get accordingly the corresponding element for 3 I'll get 15, for 4 I'll get 20 and for 5 I'll get 25. So this way you can extract the elements of a matrix. Now let us use this in another way. I have a function f with variable x and if I define this function I want to find the derivative and then want to so first I want to find the derivative where the dash or f describe the derivative and then I want to solve this equation for the value of x so and I store the result in df. So if I run this program I get three roots of the unknown x for the derivative of this function. Now I want to extract the roots one by one from this function. This procedure is normally followed in numerical maximization. So if I want to extract this first root, I use the extract command and placing one inside. So this one tells Mathematica to extract the elements at the first position and at the first position I have the sub list x going to minus 2. So, so if I run this, I get the less at the first position. Now I'm interested to extract the element inside this list. So I place another, I add another argument into the uh, result df. And if I do that, it will give me the element inside this list, which is this element. And if I want to extract the numerical value minus two, I have to add another uh, element into the argument of df function of extra command. So this way I get minus 2. <laughs> Similarly, if I use the 
two over here that will correspond to this thing and I'll be able to extract the second root which is one according to this definition. And if I run the third one, I'll get the third root. So this way you can use the uh, range command to build nested list and the extract command to extract the elements of a nested list.